Yo, what's going on, BS gang? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. Go ahead and join the BS gang. Link to the Discord will be in the description as always. But this video is going to be a follow-up video to my Do Not Buy Coin Shop Units video. I got a lot of support on it, so thank you guys very much. But I also got a lot of dislikes more than usual. And I think the reason for that is because admittedly, I did not explain myself thoroughly. Watching the video back, I didn't really explain thoroughly about the coin shop or the coin shop units themselves. So this is what I'm going to do now, right? I'm going to uh, mend that mistake. So this is going to be like a guide. If you, you know, if you know what the coin shop is, this isn't the video for you. But if you're interested in knowing like the little like tricks, tips, and um, a little bit of help that you can get from the coin shop go ahead and watch the video thoroughly but yeah let's go ahead let me start off with the silver units right all right so in my do not buy coin shop units video i didn't go over the silver coins or if i did it was very very brief so silver coins are literally just for like stamina pots and or chest right no one really buys anything else other than that maybe once in a blue moon you might buy these but thankfully because of the new update coming tuesday there will really not be a need to buy gold keys um or really like these three items right here one two and three at all pretty much because of the update so that's very very good but yeah silver coins you're not really gonna use for super awakening units so if you go ahead and have i don't know say you have like 400 or something saved up you can buy stamina pots you can buy i guess chest but again the update is going to bring forth a new way to get gold, so very, very good. And then, like, sometimes they have event things, like you see the bingo and then the horns or whatever. So, very, very good stuff for that in terms of silver coins, but nothing much. Like, nothing really, like, of, you know, substantial information you need to know. Uh, friendship coins. Friendship coins are literally just friendship coins. I really just use them for um, buying fight festival tickets. That's really all I use them for, uh, but nothing crazy there either. So gold coins. Now gold coins, a lot of people were um, like, they weren't, some people were attacking me, but some people were just giving me uh, good criticism that I didn't explain how to use the gold coins for Super Awakening. So that's what I'm gonna do. So gold coins are the coins you wanna use before you use platinum coins to actually super awaken a character right so if you have a, a load of gold coins like let's say 400 something gold coins obviously you're gonna want to use those gold coins to super awaken first before going to the platinum coins to use them right that's just how it is there's nothing in here that you should really be buying with gold coins um maybe like sr pendants but you can farm sr pendants well, not really farm, but you can get SR pendants a lot easier than SSR pendants, right? Um, this right here, I don't think you need to buy like enhanced stones. There's no, there, there's really not a reason to buy them. And everything else here, not like you don't really need to use. You know what I mean? Like you don't need to buy. Most of the times, I use my gold coins to actually super awaken a, a unit before I use my platinum coins. So there you go. So you're gonna want to use all your gold coins for super awakening just before you get to the platinum coins now the platinum coins now this is where i got heat from because i told people not to use platinum coins to buy coin shop units however i didn't explain myself thoroughly so i'm gonna do that right now free to play if you're free to play you don't buy gems you don't summon on every other banner and you really just get duplicates from let's say part one part two or race draw tickets right i don't recommend you buying coin shop units because you are on Fortunately, at a disadvantage where you don't have a lot of coins normally whereas if you're a whale a dolphin you can spend on the banners where you're most likely get duplicates like every other banner right but if you're free to play and you're smart and you save up those uh, part one part two and race draw tickets let's say you do have about 50 to 70 coins right then yeah you know go ahead and buy a unit of your choice or go ahead and dupe out a unit that's fine right just be smart about it Pay to, uh, play to play players um, are at an advantage because they can get a lot of coins easier. Uh, whereas free to play, you're not really, you know, gonna get as many because you don't spend on every banner. So that's where I was coming from that angle. Now, the coin shop units, some of them aren't worth buying, in my personal opinion. I really don't think you need all of them. Like coin shop bond, I don't really think you need. I don't really think like it's necessary to have red demon meliodas but he he can be a, a fun character same thing goes for like um red gallon although he can be fun blue blue fraudrin was free if you have a copy of him 
but he is a coin shop unit, so I don't really think you should go ahead and get dupes for. You definitely, if you can, get dupes for Droll, uh, Zeldris, I, I guess Green Derriere. There's just a lot of units that you need to get dupes for in the coin shop, and they all cost a lot of, like, a lot of coins, unfortunately. That's just how it is. But, um, you know, obviously you have your discounts per week. And I don't know who's in rotation. I believe Global's um, rotation is messed up from JPs. So I don't know who it is. But hopefully it's Blue Droll because I am looking to dupe out my Blue Droll. So, again, you just want to make sure that you're being smart about it. Don't go, like, crazy. Honestly, like, there's just not much units that you really should... I mean, it's, it's hard, right? It's hard because I know a lot of people really love uh green asterosa they love red zeldris blue droll of course blue droll and red zeldris are really really good especially droll right now with sario and tarmio right so it's really hard to say because i know a lot of people are going to be like well i want to at least buy one copy again if you have the coins to do it go ahead and do it but if you're looking to super awaken the character that you buy say you don't have blue droll and you only have 10 um 10 platinum coins right you only have 10 platinum coins and you buy him, but you don't have any gold coins. Now you're a little screwed because you don't have any coins to super awaken Droll. You know what I mean? But again, super awakening is more for PvP anyway. PvE, it does help. It does help to have um, a super awaken in PvE, but not as much as PvP, right? That's another criticism that I got on that video. A lot of people were saying that I didn't bring up the fact that PvE, you don't really necessarily need... Uh, super awakened units um that that is true that is very true right I'm, I'm not taking that away however i do think it's important for like demon raids for you guys to have a couple of super awakened units and we can go over them right now so for like demon halix right for example i would say demon halix you kind of not need area to be super awakened but it would help right now i have sario on here sorry is a good option for it but not, i don't think to be honest he's as much as a help as Derriere, but having Derriere um, four star super waken would be very very good because of the damage output that she has right be very very helpful same thing goes for um red gother uh he would be good too same thing goes for red uh lost rate meliotis very very good unit to have super awaken obviously uh let's go over the other units as well like this is the team i use for my great demon um you know runs i use escanor gother and then elizabeth so elizabeth again she she's not really needed to be four star super awakened uh if you want to you can there's a lot of other options you could run for this team. well not a lot of other options but you know you could use like green fairy king instead of elizabeth if you wanted to that'll be absolutely fine some people don't even run merlin on the back they run uh, uh, alioni alioni i think i do i don't i don't think i do i don't right alioni with his um his unique would be good on that team as well but yeah, there's just a lot of units that you could actually use, right, to go ahead and super wicked for PvE. But it, it isn't necessary. They're right. It isn't really a necessity sometimes, right, to have them four star super wicked. Whereas in PvP, it is very, very important because like super awakening does add a boost, a huge boost to your stats. Now, right now for normal PvP. There is no super waking stats applied, so you don't have to worry about that right now for this week. But for elite, it is a very, very big deal because that boosts your CC a lot if you have every unit super awakened on the team. So, yes, it is true that you know for super awakening is primarily more important for PvP, but for PvE aspect, it can be important as well sometimes. I'm sorry if you hear any background noise. Uh, my neighbors are doing whatever they do; they're a little loud, so I'm apologize if you hear any background noise. But um, yes. So anyway yeah these units that you want from the coin shop just be smart about it uh I, I i do apologize for anyone who took my do not buy coin shop units as like uh god say you know you should do this you should follow this it's not that it's just i want you guys to really you know consider your options before go ahead and buying a coin shop unit um for example blue droll does have green droll's counterpart although blue droll is very very good because of his taunt he can petrify etc etc same thing goes for Red Zeldris. Red Zeldris is a better unit than Blue Zeldris because of his utility and support. So, if you want to buy him, go ahead. I don't even have Red Gloxinia. I don't know if I'll 
I don't know if I'll ever buy Red Galaxania. I might just wait till he's featured on a banner or something like that. But I don't know if I'll ever buy him from the coin shop. Just because I'm not going to use him. He's He can be fun. He can be a little bit of an annoyance to fight against. But like all in all, I don't think I'm going to ever have much use for, <laughs> for like Red Galaxania. Except being a link partner for Droll. But even then, I have the green Galaxania already. So it is what it is. But yeah, that's just my little bit of... Um, you know information or a little bit of a guide to help you guys figure out what will be the best play to get from the coin shop unit or if you should save your platinum coins again gold and silver silver you don't really do much with you just kind of buy these like event things and stamina pots gold you do want to use for super awakening before you get to your platinum coins. so there you go and there's nothing really in the shop that you should be buying anyway so there's nothing of value there and then platinum is where it gets a little bit controversial because i know a lot of people had um a lot to say about it but again i apologize if anyone took that out of context it wasn't supposed to be but um that's why i'm recommending it in this video so that's gonna be it for this little like guide on the coin shop hopefully you guys did get information out of it that helped you figure out whether or not you want to buy units from the coin shop but if you did go ahead and drop a like i would greatly appreciate it it shows me that you guys really do support me of course with all the love and support we got over like these past few weeks itself is like insanity so um thank you guys so much with that said guys i will see you all next time